In this video, I'll be showing you a super simple way to add film grain to your photos. And no, I am not talking about, you know, dragging the grain slider up in Lightroom. I'm actually talking about going into Photoshop and uh, Photoshop, you know? Yo, 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 Karla Fretta. My name is Arnold Lörn. I'm a photographer from Vitsukrutu from Iceland. So now that the glasses are on, you know that I mean business and I actually have to clean them, I see now. Quick, 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 quick. All right, so welcome to Photoshop. What we are going to do today is to get film grain on this photo here. We will be working with overlays and the simplest way to do this really is just to go on Google and, you know, Google PNG overlay Photoshop or some combination of those words. You can either go to, you know, images and just do the old school trick of just, you know, downloading that image or scouring the internet and seeing if you find something. A while ago, I managed to find this pack here. This is like a free overlay film grain pack, over, overlay film grain pack, you know what I'm saying, that this legend right here made and it's totally free. So I'm like, I got it. I'll leave the link to this in the description. But as I said, you can just, you know, you can really just take a moment and try to find whatever you want. Now. Now that is out of the way, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All you have to do now is just take the file that you find and then you drag it and make create a layer on top of your photo. Here, I've already done it and then it looks like this. You see, we are starting to get somewhere. Now what you do once you've uh, like uploaded it to your, uh, you know, Photoshop, press Ctrl T to move it around and let's match it up to your photos and take a look. This is going to look sick in a second. One, two and enter. Boom. And with those words, I'm going to say thank you and smack that like button for me. I'm kidding. We, we have to do a little bit, obviously. All we have to do now is to change the blending mode. So you go up here to normal and then you just find the blending mode that works for the specific file that you have. For this one, I think that color dodge, linear dodge, even screen, lighter color or down here in exclusion, exclusion, exclusion. <laughs> Some English words are there. This works wonder. For instance, if you press here, boom. And now you can already see we have a beautiful grain here and before and after we've added a grain to it. Now this might be too harsh or too much. Then all you have to do is to go here in opacity while you have, you know, the layer here highlighted and just drop the opacity to make it not as extreme, you know, and I think for this one, maybe around 55 and it looks super, super, super good. But depending on what file you are working with and you know, how the you know, overlay and the JPEG that you are using to get your grain looks like, it's going to depend on what type of blending mode looks the best. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that with the blending mode, you just have to experiment and find what works best with the, you know, current overlay that you are working with. Okay. And honestly, for a photo like this here, I think it just creates this extra layer of of niceness, if you understand what I'm saying. I think this, because this is a sunset photo, so it is a little, you know, it has these orangey wipes to it, so it's like a little bit vintage, but adding that little grain, as you can see, just creates that little bit of extra depth to it, I think, and I think this is a beautiful way. So let's do it on a one more photo super quickly so we can just nail it, you know, in uh, your head. This is my friend Joe, and I added this one here, and all I have to do now is just press Ctrl T, line it up like this so it's all the way, like something like this. Then remember, we just have to go to blending mode and find what blending mode works best for this. Let's say that for this one, color dodge looks super nice. And I think this is too much. So we go to opacity and just drop it down a little bit. And boom, we've already got a vintage photo here that looks super nice. Extremely, extremely, extremely simple. So now just go on the internet, find a texture and a PNG or a JPEG, you know, film grain overlay that looks best to you. Save it and yeah, have fun with this. If you could, you know, smack that like button for me. It really, really helps me out. Consider subscribing because, you know, I create a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of videos. I sometimes feel like a robot, you know, when I say this. This is so ingrained in me saying these last sentences to this video. And uh, if you have any comments, as always, you know, feel free to ask in comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.